Hey guys, so we have here our Canon PIXMA printer and scanner. And in this video, we want to explain to you how to use one of these machines here with our Windows computer by using a USB wired, a wired USB connection. So in case you don't want to use Wi-Fi, then just use one of these cables. It has one of the old style USB B connectors on one end. And then on the other end, we either have the traditional USB-A or the newer, the younger USB-C style connector. So depending on what computer you have, you can use either or. So first we're going to twist here, turn the uh, computer on the side where we have the connector for the power cord. And up here in that corner here, that's where we find the USB-B port. And so this is where we put this connector right inside of. Should go in pretty easily. And then we're going to switch here to our Windows computer. In this case, we have a USB-C port. So we're going to plug our cable right in here. Now, in case computer and printer were turned on at this point, then we should hear the connectivity connection sound here from our computer. Okay, so now let's switch here to Windows. We're going to click on the Windows icon and either we type in here on the top either printer or we're going here to the settings. So either, either or will bring us uh, relatively easily to the same spot. In this case, if we're going through the settings menu, we just click on here on the left side on Bluetooth and devices. And then on the right side, we find the printers and scanners. Once we have entered this screen, we can click on add device in the upper right corner and eventually the computer is going to show us here our Canon PIXMA printer and we just click on add device and that is um, most of the part for the setup so you see now the printer is ready and just in case you're getting an error message or you can't find the printer for some reason then I do suggest you do unplug the USB cable from the computer one more time and try it all over. Okay, so now we're going to start with uh, the setup of the scanner software. So we're going to click here on the second tab on, on the uh, scanning settings. And then here we can use the uh, very first line item. That is here the uh, get scanner app option. And here we're going to the Windows Store and we're getting a free scanner software, the Windows Scan. Uh, installation takes quite a while. It's it's for free, but uh, yeah, installation takes a while. So uh, it took me a couple of minutes, like three or four minutes, for this process to complete. So we're going to speed this up here, of course. And once the software is ready, it uh, starts automatically, I believe. And then we make sure here we have the printer selected, or our Canon printer selected. Then we go here on Preview, and there's going to be just a quick scan here of our document. In this case, the uh, instructions menu and then we can resize by using these little dots here on the corners resize our scanning area to the right um, area right section and then we're pressing on scan and this uh, usually takes a couple of seconds longer depending on the size of the document that you want to scan so once it's scanned the uh, image is going to be saved as a as an image, as a PNG, I believe, automatically. So it's going to be stored on our hard drive on, in memory. And then here you can see the default options or the scan of uh, with just the default options of this document. So it's like a really great resolution already. We don't really need to change anything. And that was it here for scanning. And then let's switch to the printing part. I'm just going to start here notepad. Uh, for, second, for example, most people probably use Word or something else. So if we just create our, our sample text here, this is a test. And then we're just going to uh, select File. And then going down here to Print. And here we're making sure that our current, our Canon printer is selected. Let's double check this. And then we can uh, have a couple of options here. For example, if you want to do color, copy or uh, black and white. This is pretty simple because it's just a black text in this case and then all we have to do is press on print and that's that's already it. So now at this point the printer should be starting to process our print
printing job here and within a couple of seconds we should be receiving our result yeah okay so that was all right for this video hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below